Hi guys, good morning. Pastor Gerald here with this week's edition of Coffee with Pastor G. Uh, Christ offers forgiveness for everyone, everywhere, the acronym for coffee. And I just uh, wanted to thank everyone for yesterday and just a uh, beautiful time uh, of worship and studying his word. I uh, invite you to uh, check the message on YouTube or on our Facebook page or on the website, um, and hopefully you will be blessed. And hope your 4th of July, uh, Independence Day, was blessed as well, and everyone was uh, safe and uh, probably now back at work. But I wanted to just take a minute and uh, talk about uh, the book of Proverbs again, in Proverbs chapter 6 today. And I wanted to look at this um, idea that Solomon, this wisdom that Solomon gives us in verses 1 to uh, 11. And it's uh, referring to so many times when we get ahead of God. Uh, so many times when somebody asks us to do something that we're not really comfortable with. Uh, but then our mouth, uh, the words just slip out of our mouth and we agree to do something for somebody uh, that we aren't quite confident about doing. And so what should we do in this situation? Well, Proverbs 6, Solomon gives us some wisdom in this uh, words. As he says in verse 1, he says, My son, if you have become surety for your neighbor, have given a pledge for a stranger, if you have been snared with the words of your mouth, have been caught with the words of your mouth, do this then, my son, and deliver yourself, since you have come into the hands of your neighbor. He says, go humble yourself and importune your neighbor. Give no sleep to your eyes, no slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hunter's hand and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Uh, Solomon is referring to uh, you, if somebody is asking you to be like a cosigner or something on a loan, and you become the guarantor of this loan, that you back up the loan, uh, you are basic, basically taking responsibility for their debt. Uh, Solomon says that if you find yourself in this situation because uh, your mouth has been caught, uh, your words have been caught, and you agree to something that you aren't comfortable with, he says what we should do is humble ourselves, humble ourselves and go to that person and do whatever we can to try to get out of that contract or that agreement. I think ultimately of a picture of Jesus in this wisdom as well, that truly all of us have a debt that we can't pay. And really, when you think about it as Christians, God becomes our guarantor. He becomes our surety. In fact, I love what Psalm um, 119 verse 121 says, says, I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Verse 122 says, be surety for your servant for good. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail with longing for your salvation and for your righteous word. And so what an awesome thing that God is our guarantor. He is our surety. This is what David is saying in Psalm 119. Be surety for your servant for good. Uh, and you think about that, really, when we uh, fall on our faces and we humble ourselves and we uh, give these weights or these bad decisions or these sins to God, God becomes our guarantor of those debts. Uh, God takes care of them. Uh, but for you and I, the wisdom to imply from this is if we, our words have caught us in a trap, as Solomon says here, that our words have ensnared us uh, to somebody else, instead of trying to weasel your way out or fight your way out or regretfully continue down this path, the Bible says for us to humble ourselves, to go to that person. And really the example he gives is um, like a gazelle, trying to get out of it like a gazelle from a hunter. If you've ever seen a gazelle trying to flee from a captor, you will see that gazelle is doing anything and everything it can to get itself out of this contract, out of this arrangement. And so that's what the wisdom of God would say, is to go to that person 
uh, and do what you can to get out of that debt. Solomon says, don't let the sun go down on your eyes, uh, but go and free, your, free yourself from this person um, whom you are responsible for their debt. I love that God so many times uses nature or uses animals uh, to give us these beautiful examples and pictures. And so he's using the gazelle here. He's using um, a fowler, be like a bird, be like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Uh, and then he goes on in verses 6 to 11, and really he gives us this wisdom so that you don't have to become the one looking to borrow money. Uh, he already discusses if you are the one who has already uh, let your words entrap you by trying to become a cosigner for somebody else's debt. Then he refers to the person who is always looking for a loan, who is always looking for the surety. He says in verse 6, Go to the ant, O sluggard, observe her ways, and be wise, which having no chief officer or ruler, prepares her food in the summer and gathers her provision in the harvest. How long will you lie down, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Your poverty will come in like a vagabond and your need like an armed man. Solomon says, instead of going and having to borrow money from people, Solomon says, arise, get out of your sleep, your laziness, uh, and go to work is what he is saying here. He gives an example of the ant. Uh, the ants are probably one of the hardest working uh, animals that we know of. Uh, these ants that can move mountains and, and, and prepare their food and are constantly working. Notice what he says, that the ant doesn't have a master. The ant doesn't have a chief. The ant just does uh, what he needs to do. The ant has responsibility for himself. He doesn't need to be directed. He's self-motivated. And uh, I think that speaks a lot, uh, that we have the ability, especially as Christians, with Christ in us, we have this ability. He gives us the strength uh, to go out and to do the work of the Lord. It's interesting that Jesus also uses uh, the example of the lilies of the field, uh, how God provides and cares for us and how much he cares for the sparrows, that um, he, he gives the sparrows food to eat. How much more will he give to his children? So always using nature or animals uh, his creation as well, to teach us these life lessons. And so uh, the emphasis is not to be lazy, uh, to get up and get moving and, and start working. And uh, so store up in the time of plenty, in the time of harvest, store up some of your grain, store up some of your wealth uh, for the winter, for the dry time when there um, is nothing, there is no harvest, that you will have something for yourself. And so I hope we can apply this wisdom to all of us in every aspect of our life, uh, that our dependence is on God, not on any other man. Uh, and God may be uh, telling you and I here today, uh, instead of looking for loans and this, of that, this and that, maybe we need to just get up and start working with our hands. And so pray that you are being blessed today. Look forward to uh, this Thursday as we continue our uh, expository teaching through the book of first Kings. Uh, may God bless you and keep you here this morning. We love you and, uh, hope it goes well with you.